Hi there, this is Alicia King, Just a Girl in Canvas, and I am here with Ellen Miles today. And I know some of you are wondering where we are, and we are actually in one of my favorite places in Canvas. We are at the Canvas Public Library, and I'm here today to chat with Ellen a little bit about some fun facts or things you should know about our Canvas Library and about a wonderful summer program that they have here. So thank you, Ellen, for taking time to meet with me today. I, I really appreciate the library it. for, let's see, my oldest is 11 now, so I started getting really into it with the children's story time here. And what is the history of this library? How long has the Camus Library been here? I've seen it evolve into such a beautiful building and a great selection of books. How? What is the story of the Camus Library? Well, we recently celebrated our 90th birthday, if you can believe that. That was just awesome. last I year. I remember that. Yes, yeah. yes. And back in the old days, the library was just one small room in the building. Um, it also housed the police department, the fire department, city hall was all in the same building. And in fact, back in the old days, this room that we're in right now used to be the fire department's garage. Oh. So right behind us is where the old-fashioned fire trucks would be, and then they would come out this direction towards the camera out to fight fires in Camus. Great. Yeah. Why not have all that by your library? I mean, I'm sure that when they were off duty or waiting around, they checked out some books possibly. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, they're actually just across the street now, so they're still That's not right, far. Yeah. Good, mm -hmm. good. And then in um, 2003 is when we renovated the building and um, we added the addition and we changed everything. That's when this became the fancy children's room you see now. Awesome. Well, I love it. I have to say one of my favorite um, memories of the library, I know they're not around any longer but the card catalog I don't know if a lot of you have that memory but just looking for that the right card and the smell coming up from the card catalog I know they're not in the library anymore but still that smells kind of in here and that feeling when I come into a library so I love it yeah. I love it um, so with the library I know that you have a lot of things other than just the books on the shelf here can you tell us a little bit about what the public can check out through your library and actually how electronic this library is becoming and the technology that people are able to use with it. Oh, sure. Well, in addition to books, of course, we've got the magazines and the DVDs and the music CDs, audiobooks, but online, on our online resources page of the website, you can access lots and lots of databases which might have journal and newspaper information, but the big hot item right now are the e-books that we have. We have e-books, e-audiobooks, e-magazines that you can all access through the Camus Library website if you have a Camus Library card. Mm -hmm. If you have a Fort Vancouver Library card, you'll need to go through the Fort Vancouver's website to access that. But um, it's all searchable. Um, you can place holds if they're checked out. And you can download them directly to your device if your device is internet capable. Otherwise, it just goes to your computer, and then your device syncs with your computer. But yeah, we're, the numbers for the checkouts, for wow. the e-audiobooks, e e-books, e have just been skyrocketing. We've been getting so many people awesome. interested in that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking E stands for everything because you can almost check out everything <laughs> online. Um, one thing I want to say that I've utilized in a group, um, I'm in a book club, and what I didn't know that the library offered is as a book club, you can check out book club kits, and oh. you can get, I, sometimes the numbers vary, but anywhere between 10 to 20 books, and your book club does not have to go buy the books or each come down individually. You can come down and check out a box and read that book for your book club and I think that is a wonderful service. We've used that a lot, and I really appreciate that. That's great. Yeah, fantastic. Great. One exciting program that we're really going to focus on, and Ellen plays an integral part in that, and we've our family has done it as well, is the summer reading program. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the summer reading program, how to get involved, and how we can get these kids, teens, and adults excited about reading. Sure. Well, the summer reading program is something we do every year for the children and teens of Camas, and, and any age can participate. You could be a baby, you could be an infant, and you could be a senior. We have a program for all ages. And you, once you sign up, you keep track of how much reading that you've been doing. And along the way, you earn prizes for the amount of reading that you do. It makes it more fair than number of books or number of chapters sure. because some books are this thick and some books are sure. this thick. Um, so they earn prizes along the way. And then at the end of the summer, they get um, a big whole bunch of prizes, which for the children, the big prize. She's modeling today. Is the shirt. <laughs> every year, the shirt design changes. And this year, it's Fizz 
Boom Read is the slogan for the summer reading program Love this it. year. So, um, and we have the kids participate in the parade for Camas Days, right. and um, we have lots of other events for kids too during the summer reading program. Jugglers, magicians, um, puppet shows, crafts, all sorts of fun information is on the website telling you what's going on this summer. And um, it starts June 7th. So Seven. only so a week this away. Is yep. Next Monday. Next uh, Saturday. Saturday. Oh, Saturday. On Saturday, yes. Okay. And it goes for ten weeks. We've never done it for this long before. Ten weeks this year until August sixteenth. And kids and teens or parents or adults can sign up any time all summer long. And it doesn't have to be on June seventh. No, no, that's the day it starts. But you can sign up and you can sign up online on our website. You can come in if you'd like, but you can also just go through our website. Of course you have to come into the library to pick up your prizes, mm -hmm. but you can keep track of the that you're reading from home if that's more convenient for you. So awesome. I do know that sometimes, I think the first year we did do the summer reading program, we were just here checking out books and there was a table in the children's section and we said, what is that? And we were explaining the program and we got to sign up that day. I also have a lot of friends whose kids are so motivated by this. Mm -hmm. They're earning their t-shirts within weeks because they want to earn these prizes mm -hmm. and it really encourages kids to sit down with books and read yeah. and it's awesome well funny you should say that because the 10 kids who read the most because I know that there okay. are kids who will read you know breakfast lunch and dinner every day every week yes. of the summer <laughs> um, can all of the kids can try to be one of the top 10 readers because the 10 kids and the 10 teens who read the most out of the whole program mm -hmm. will each get a $10 gift certificate to Barnes and Noble Awesome. Yeah, so oh, I love Barnes & Noble. Yeah, well. so yes. if they're big readers, they should keep logging those minutes and try to be a top 10 reader. Okay, great. Well, if you have any questions about the reading program, please come into the library. If Ellen's not here, they have some lovely, helpful people up at the front desk every time. I do have a couple overdue books, Ellen, so I... Here, let me slap your hand. I know. There. That's about what you get from the Camus Library. You're very forgiving. <laughs> I am. I know I need to bring those back. And actually, they have a very convenient drop-off box as well on the side of the building. Okay. Yeah, but I just want to let you know that this library, when I come in, it's cozy. There is an a adult section, if you will. There's a little fireplace over there. There are computers you can get on if you don't have access to one at home. There's a great cozy children's area. There's some computers with children's games. The list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. Sign up for the summer reading program. It is free. It's inspiring. And I really think the more we encourage our kids to read, the better. Oh, sure. All right. Thank you, Ellen, for your time today. I really appreciate it. Yes. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate the exposure. <laughs> All right. Come see the Camus Library. Bye-bye. This is Just a Girl in Camus. Get reading.